Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today I'd like to spend a few moments and talk about the latest film that I've watched and it is Abbas Kiarostami's last film called 24 Frames. Uh, I'm just going to show the front and the back. This was featured in a haul video that I did um, a couple of videos ago. <laughs> and so here's the back also with some special features. Um, this is an amazing film, 24 Frames. This is Abbas Kiarostami's last film. And basically what he does in this film, very briefly, I don't think this is really going to be spoiling it, is he, uh, in about uh, five minute uh, segments, starts with a specific frame, could be a painting or could be one of his photographs, and it essentially becomes a vignette where he is, he shows what he thinks would happen before the frame and what happens after the frame. And it is absolutely brilliant. And this is a great, um, again, this is his last film. If you watch my videos on the Coker Trilogy, you'll know that when I watch a Kiristami film, there are many times where I consider some of the frames as uh, paintings themselves. Um, Kiristami is also known as the driving director because many of his films take place in a car. And um, so the car window of, often serves as the frame of the painting. Um, in one of the supplements, his son talks about finishing the film. Abbas Kiristami was very ill obviously near the, the end of his life, and he spent five years on this film. While he was in the hospital on the days when he was feeling better, he would work on this film, and, uh, and then his uh, son had to uh, uh, finish it after he uh, passed away. Uh, I should mention also, this film is from 2017. It's 114 minutes, and it is spine number 956 from the Criterion Collection. One of the things that Abbas Kiarostami's son mentions in a supplement is that uh, he said that his uh, Father mentioned that if people fall asleep during this film, that's okay, as long as they remember it afterwards. Obviously, you don't want to sleep through the film and not remember it. <laughs> but the film really plays like uh, a meditation. To me, it's transcendental cinema at its best, and uh, something that Abbas Kiarostami did very, very well. Uh, you feel like you're meditating when you're watching this movie. Maybe this movie is not for everyone, but for me, I really enjoyed the contemplative uh, meditative nature of the of the movie. Um, some of my favorite scenes were some of the ocean scenes uh, or some of the scenes with birds. There's quite a few scenes with snow also and um, animals. Um, so it's almost like a nature film in a way too. Um, and there's animation and there's things that are added to these frames uh, uh, throughout the film. So that makes it very interesting to watch. So if you, if you like Abbas Kiarostami's work, you're going to love his last film. Uh, if you're a fan of transcendental cinema, you will like this film. And I highly recommend it. I think it's an amazing film. And what a great way for Kiarostami to end his career with this uh, type of a film. It's something that he's done throughout um, all of his films, even though the other films have dialogue and a story. Uh, this film represents uh, what he was all about. It's very poetic in nature and um, has all of the elements of a classic Kiarostami film. So again, wanted to take a couple moments to talk about 24 Frames. Uh, if you get a chance to pick it up from the Criterion Collection, it is a great addition. Lots of special features on it and I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching today. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, click on like and please subscribe to my channel also. Uh, if you can, that would be great. And I want to uh, thank everyone for the great comments and questions and for watching these videos. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so we'll see you next time.